It's time to do an oil change on my Yamaha MT-07 and I'm gonna show you just how easy it is and how to do it the proper way. Let's go for a ride. Oh. Subscribe today. If you wanna get my gear like this ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet, motor vlog camera, airbag vest to help keep you safe, all of my gear, I always include links in the description and comment section. First off, one of the biggest reasons why I love naked motorcycles, not only because they're comfortable and tuned with a lot of grunt for the street like this MT-07, which I absolutely love, but it's so much easier working on a naked motorcycle like this because you don't have to remove fairings. And I'm going to show you just how easy it is to do an oil change on this 2022 Yamaha MT-07. These are the materials you're gonna need. I have links to everything in the description and comment section of this video. First off, you're gonna need oil. You don't need to get the most expensive oil. You don't need to get that super quality uh, motorcycle oil. I'm telling you, the Shell Rotilla T6 5W40 is inexpensive, but it is awesome oil. Tried and true in the motorcycle community is very popular. I've been using it going all the way back to about 15 years on all my bikes, scooters, everything. Never had a problem whatsoever. It's great oil. Trust me, do your research on it if you don't believe me. Like I said, I got a link to everything in the description and comment section of this video. Uh, K&N oil filter. I love these because it has a 17 millimeter nut on the end, so it makes it very easy to remove it and to torque it to spec. And I always torque everything to spec on any of my motorcycles, so that way you don't have any problems. And that brings up a torque wrench. You're going to need a torque wrench, which I have a link to. You're going to need a 17 millimeter socket. Uh, you're going to need an oil wrench or a device like this, which makes it much easier to remove the OEM oil filter. And I, I like this device here, it's fairly inexpensive. Uh, so much easier to remove uh, with this as opposed to a regular oil filter wrench. Uh, a Kush washer for the drain bolt. You always want to replace it with every oil change. Also, you're going to need something to measure the oil with and a funnel. A shop towel, disposable gloves, of course, an oil catcher there. And I have a really awesome one here that drains into there and makes it very easy for you to, to pour out. And you can actually store oil in this. Like I said, I have a link to this if you want to get it. Now, the first step, turn on the bike and let it run for several minutes to let it warm up. Go ahead and remove the oil cap. Remove the plug from the oil catcher if you have a setup like this here. Go ahead and remove the oil drain bolt. See that? No matter how clean you try to be, you're going to get some oil that's going to try to hit that garage floor. And luckily I got this absorbent pad here. And now that the oil has mostly drained out, now you want to go ahead and stand the bike up here and try to shake some more oil out. Sit the bike up straight here. Just lift the bike up here and some more oil. You want to shake it around a little bit. Get all that out. There you go. Make sure all of it gets out of there as much as you can. And next, we're going to remove the OEM oil filter. You're going to use an oil wrench or use this device, which makes it much easier. Like I said, I got a link to this if you want to get it. So that way you can put an, a socket on there and it'll make it easier to remove. There you go. More oil is going to come out. So make sure you got that oil catch underneath. You want to go ahead and lift the bike up off the kickstand here and shake it around, get some more of that, get, this, get all that oil out, make sure it's all out. You wanna go ahead and put on the new oil filter and here's the new K&N oil filter here. And as you can see, this has a nut on the end. And also what's cool about this K&N oil filter is that it actually comes pre-oiled, actually, uh, the gasket around here, this rubber gasket here, is actually uh, pre-oiled already. So you don't, normally you would get an oil filter and you would take a little bit of oil and you run it across, your finger across 
uh, the rubber uh, gasket here and put some oil, but it's already pre-oiled, so no need to do that. You want to make sure to carefully put this oil filter on. You don't want to cross that thread it at all, okay? So you want to be very careful on putting this on. Okay, there you go. Make sure it's running nice. It turns nice and smooth. If you get any any friction at all, you know you probably cross threaded. You gotta be very, very careful with that. Okay. Now this, a lot of people will only hand tighten this. Don't do that, guys. Okay. Follow the service manual. And I'm going strictly by the service manual here, guys. Is you want to tighten this to 17 pounds feet of torque for this bike. I'm going to set this to 17 pounds feet of torque. Ready? There. Hear that click? That means it's tight in the spec. 17 pounds feet of torque. Perfect. Next step is you're going to take the oil drain bolt and remove the old Kush washer. And go ahead and install a brand new one. Go ahead and reinstall the drain bolt. And first we'll hand tighten it. Like I said, be very careful. Make sure you don't cross thread this. We're going to tighten this to 32 pounds feet of torque. Now, there'll be some guys out there that'll tell you that's too much torque to put on the uh, drain bolt. But I'm going strictly by the service manual for the 2022 Yamaha MT-07 and older MT-07s and even the newer MT-07. They have the same engine, but I'm going by the service manual. I always stick to the torque specs. I don't go by what other people say. Set the torque wrench to 32 pounds feet. There you go. Okay, now we're going to make sure to precisely measure the oil. And this bike requires 2.75 quarts, and that's with an oil filter change. Okay, so this one, that's one quart. Go ahead and put the funnel in. Just put the oil in. That's one quart. Okay. Okay, now the last 0.75 of a quart, which will make it a total of 2.75 quarts. Okay, now you want to make sure to check the O-ring on the oil plug here and make sure that the O-ring is in good condition. They say to replace it, but if it's in good condition, I would say you can go ahead and reuse it. I'm going to go ahead and reuse this. Go ahead and put that back on. Be very careful putting it on. Don't cross thread it. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and start the bike. Now to check the oil level. What's cool about this bike and the MTL9 is it has an oil level window. Perfect. According to the service manual, as you see here, you want the oil level between points A and B, and that's with the bike standing up perfectly center. And if you look at my oil level at the top left corner, mine is within spec. If yours is below point A, then you want to add a bit more oil than then recheck. And check the drain bolt. Make sure there's no leakage underneath the drain bolt or the filter. Make sure to put the cap back on the oil catch here. All right. Put that on there. Yeah, you don't want to go ahead and lift this up and that oil starts coming out or something. So, see what's cool about this is you can go ahead and store this until you get a chance to uh, go take it and uh, make sure you recycle your oil. Don't pour this down the drain, guys. <laughs> take this to your oil recycle center or whatever in your particular uh, area. Okay, I thoroughly checked. No oil leaks. Everything is good. And we're good to go. Another tip, before you store your torque wrench, which, like I said, I have a link to this one, which is awesome in the description and comment section of this video. But always set it back down to zero. Loosen that bolt down there and put it back down to zero. Never store it at a, a tightened up at a torque setting um, because that can, uh, you know, that can cause problems and, and damage your wrench. 
and you always want to make sure this is accurate and always make sure every single bolt on your bike is tightened according to the manufacturer's specifications i can't stress that enough guys because uh, so many people end up stripping bolts causing problems that's one reason why i recommend that you do your own oil change and you do it the right way if you take this and have it done at a shop you get these service techs that don't care it's not their bike um, and a lot of times they will not tighten it to torque specification a lot of them do i'm not saying all of them do or don't but i just know when i do it myself i know it's done right but anyways guys i appreciate all you guys make sure to leave a comment uh, make sure to hit thumbs up hit the subscribe button hit that little bell symbol so you get notified when my videos are released but i release new videos every sunday tuesday and thursday at 11:30 a.m eastern standard time see you next time